What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to watch Bora City Magazine's video of Nothing Can Stop Them, the inevitable success of BTS's comeback. I mean, there, there's no doubt in my mind that BTS will still be huge when they come back. I mean, just this year, they're releasing new things while being in the military, and it's popping off. Still breaking records, still doing numbers without even being here and with solo work and we already know that when the whole group works together they pop off even more and you know we're already in october right we only gotta wait a half a year and, a, and two more months right it's, we can survive that and you already know that my new year's resolution for 2025 is to save up money for that comeback tour but anyways without further ado let's start watching in 2023, it was announced that all the members of BTS signed a new contract with their label Big Hit Music starting in 2025. They probably got paid this a lot. confirms the reunion after their military service. But I don't think a lot of people, fans or not, are truly grasping the idea of how big of a cultural phenomenon this comeback is going to be. I'm, I'm expecting it to be big, but I don't know how big. Sensing that fans in the industry are expecting or predicting BTS to go back to their 2020-2021 popularity at best. Many I mean, that popularity was pretty insane though, the 2020-2021 era. I, I think it's because everyone was just at home on their phones. So that's, that's how... Like they gained a lot of popularity, people started watching their videos, their, their music. This comeback as a regular comeback, in the K-pop sense of the word. But that ignores a lot of context. So I would love to start a conversation based on oh. a very realistic analysis of this new context. And I wanted to do this video now because we're less than a year away from seeing all the members as a group oh, again. Less At than the same a year. time, we don't have a lot of hints of what their comeback project and promotions are going to be like. So. It I don't think we're gonna get hints. I think they're gonna want to surprise us. It's easier for us to recognize what it's definitely going to happen and not get excited by hints and clues <laughs> they may give. Oh, we're I gonna get excited. For a lot of extraordinary things as a fan. But for this conversation, I believe it's important to get the same conclusions even non fans can come to. Because as fans, we may always be looking for the best scenario. However, you'll see that by analyzing the most simple aspects of BTS's popularity, we may still see a comeback that it's too big to even too process right big? now. We just need to Wait, so Bora City number. thinking the comeback gonna be even bigger than what we think? The new image their solo careers has given them and the overall culture surrounding comebacks. I don't mean comeback in the K-pop sense. I mean comeback as it is understood in the Western music industry, which is the first release after a hiatus period. Yeah, this is a comeback. Is on a group hiatus because of their military service. So they are going to have their first comeback. This simple their first, Yeah, yeah, I guess in K-pop, a comeback is... They just call it a comeback whenever they release something new, a new album. Act is already but this here is a real comeback. They're actually coming back because they actually left. <laughs> there is a difference between popularity and cultural impact. For the past hey, BTS years, does both. BTS has been both popular exactly. and culturally <laughs> impactful, but not in the exact ways every fan may recognize. For example, the name of a musical artist can be culturally impactful, but they may have music or one song that is popular at best. The same way, a song can be culturally impactful, but the name of the artist who sings the song may only be considered popular during a certain period of time Happens or for a, lot. a certain audience. With this in mind, let's recognize BTS his popularity and cultural impact. BTS. Wait a minute. Why? While Bora City was saying that, they put Psy, but Psy is both popular and uh, culturally impactful. Popular <laughs> during a certain kind of like period BTS. of time, or for a certain audience. With this in mind, let's recognize BTS's popularity and cultural impact. BTS's most mainstream global releases are Dynamite, Butter, and My Universe. Uh, and let's English focus songs. only on Dynamite and Butter because My Universe is a collaboration. Let's not sugarcoat this and make this very realistic. The general public knows three things about BTS: their oh. name, their fans, and their two biggest hits. The Dynamite. Everybody knows Dynamite. Knows the existence of BTS as a group. The general public knows BTS has a big fandom and the True. general public knows the songs Dynamite and Butter. You know, I've noticed that like it's a lot more people who recognize Dynamite and a lot 
just never heard of butter i don't know how because butter also did numbers <laughs> but if i just talk like my friends or or like family they'll be like oh yeah i've heard dynamite but not butter they don't even know that song Some do know these songs are bts songs and others simply recognize these songs and know the existence of bts but don't necessarily correlate them but at the end of the day bts as a name is well known and dynamite and butter as songs are well known these songs were on commercials on the radio on tv shows on movies stayed even on the number one <laughs> position even here in, in mexican grocery shops i would hear the charts for weeks and received grammy nominations after this bts released their see you later project for fans and then they started their solo era the solo era has not only maintained bts's name out there but it has also yeah. improved bts's was image. A cool year. this improved image is important because now not only their name and a couple of songs are going to be culturally impactful now there is an actual possibility for the general public to recognize bts as a strong culturally impactful musical act not just a recognizable name with a couple of songs that not everyone can correlate. In my opinion, the solo projects have made BTS's upcoming comeback not only undeniably popular, but also, I predict, a bigger cultural impact than BTS quote-unquote wow. at their peak. She I mean this in terms of both impact. numbers and reception. Even as solo artists and with minimal promotions, during this hiatus, the BTS members have been able to still get exact songs. They've got so insane, man. They're not even here and they're still doing numbers. Truly viral TikTok songs. They've gotten more. Yo, I, I, I avoided TikTok for many years, and this is uh, since I was better in this year for many months. I downloaded it, and of course, you know, it's uh, there's a lot of BTS stuff in there and that number one songs they've got it was pretty funny seeing the the tiktoks people make <laughs> gotten truly viral tiktok songs they've gotten more positive reviews than there, there there was this cool trend of like jungkook dancing to 3d but they put this like jason derulo song or something ever and they've also been taken more seriously by the public sure the cultural impact the solo projects have are not the exact same as with dynamite and butter but the few details that these two songs were missing the solo projects complemented them people said bts could only get number one songs as a group because of their boy band fandom but their solo now they projects know that's wrong. wrong people said dynamite and butter were commercial mainstream but they couldn't get a real tiktok hit but jungkook's solo project became a true tiktok hit People doubted that a BTS Korean album could ever be critically acclaimed. But oh, RM's wait. solo Korean BTS Korean album could ever be truly critically acclaimed. BTS albums are critically acclaimed, but they are always excluded from album of the year conversations. In other words, critics give them good reviews, but still don't consider their album serious project. Why not? What, just because they're foreigners? Be critically acclaimed. But RM's solo Korean album is now basically in every album of the year list. Oh, wait, People it's said changing. that only BTS fans listen to BTS music. But thanks to J-Hope's collaborations and RM's album of the year list appearances, now the most critical music fans are actually approving BTS projects. About damn All time! All aspects make BTS a more quote-unquote serious musical act. Not just an impactful name with an impactful fandom and impactful couple of songs. No, an impactful musical act, impactful musical artists. Even the point about having a true TikTok hit makes the public unable to even say, how is this song so big if I never listen to it? Now the cultural relevance- <laughs> I have been told that when it came to their solo projects, I'm like telling people, bro, did you not see uh, Jungkook, Sevens, or Jimin, you know, all their songs that reached number one? And they're just like, what? No. <laughs> How is this song so... Why the hell do non-BTS fans barely know anything about him? Come on. Big if Come I on, never people. Listen to it. Now the cultural relevance can be inescapable. And yes, they did all of this with minimal promotions. Give it up for Jimin. Drunk, Cook, Sugar, as I... Yeah, now that I think about it, the promotion, then some, they all did do some promotions, the promotions, but... For Jungkook's but... You know, it wasn't as much as they do when they were a group, right? In the middle of tours, appearing on a whole bunch of TV shows, a bunch of live performances. 
If you think that the promotions for Jungkook's Golden were a lot, you have not really paid attention to the real promotion schedules by Western artists. We don't know what style of promotions BTS will have for this comeback. My personal guess and hope is that they will go back to the Boy With Love style of promotions, because they've mentioned that these specific promotion activities were part of their dream come true promotion oh. schedule. Seems like they love performing during their promotions. <laughs> the Boy With Love promotion schedule was stronger than Golden's promotions, but calmer than the Dynamite and Butter promotions. However, even if they go extremely minimal, like Jimin for example, who had one single interview in an American TV show, I'm still Wait sure a minute, really? BTS Oh yeah, I guess that's true. It was just the appearance on Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> in an American TV show, I'm but it was great. Sure BTS's next comeback will have better reception and numbers. I mean, I love yet to come as much as the next army. But if a non-mainstream, not promoted, Korean song like yet to come is getting a Grammy nomination during hiatus, I can most certainly predict that BTS as a group is yeah. at least in the minds of the industry. It'll be crazy. A real comeback will be successful no matter what. This Besides, another... you know, all, all these music companies, they know the comeback is going to be huge. So they're going to want to be at least a part of it in some way. Aspect. We need to pay attention at how pop culture treats big comebacks like this. And that comeback, Robin, could be massive. They do have a faithful following. I remember that in 2022, when the news of BTS's military service... Oh, they were saying they're going to split up. The general public they never come back. The media <laughs> associated this moment with Elvis Presley's military service and hiatus. You really do have to go back to Elvis Presley to think of a pop music act of this magnitude putting on the brakes and entering the military at the absolute peak of their popularity. Many mentioned how it Elvis's hiatus, suck. military <laughs> service and comeback improved his his image, expanded his appeal to a broader audience, and made him even more popular. And if BTS is saying the truth about coming back as a group, they can have the attention of the news of a celebrity coming back after going to the army. Just like Elvis Presley. This was yeah, back making people realize, damn, you know, they. When I miss no 2025 <laughs> contract, so the media was still very unsure if they were actually coming back. However, I don't think the metrics of Elvis Presley's hiatus and comeback are the same as BTS's hiatus and comeback. The music industry is vastly different now than what it was in the 1960s, and I don't believe BTS's upcoming album can be compared to Elvis Presley's Elvis Is Back comeback album. However, the fact that this association was even mentioned by the Western general public as soon as the news of BTS's military service and hiatus broke shows that comebacks are still a big deal in pop culture today. I think it's more appropriate to look at an example from this century and from a group, because the dynamics of a group and a soloist are different. The Jonas Brothers were not as big as BTS as a global cultural phenomenon. The kids who grew up in the Disney box. Channel era can <laughs> definitely recognize some of their most popular songs, but the group couldn't really establish a mainstream song that your parents or non-Disney kids could recognize from the radio in any part of the world. Like Dynamite yeah, I mean, Father, a, a big part of their popularity was because of the the Disney show. from the radio in any part of the world. Like For like Dynamite most of their popularity was from songs them. from <laughs> other mainstream groups like One Direction. Don't get me wrong, the Jonas Brothers had a lot of fans, but not enough to have worldwide stadium tours like BTS. Despite this, when the Jonas Brothers had their big still pretty popular though. song Sucker in 2019, for the first time ever, they got... Wait, y'all know what comeback I was excited for? Big Time Rush. They're back. <laughs> I used to love that show when I was a kid. Hot 100 <laughs> number one and one of their songs finally received a Grammy nomination. Even people who didn't listen to the Jonas Brothers knew that the Jonas Brothers were having a comeback. This is because comebacks are exciting for the music industry. Comebacks after a period of hiatus are a huge topic of interest in pop culture. Even if the comeback song is not revolutionary or unique, the simple fact of it being a comeback song makes it newsworthy. Yeah, it makes people Just interested. Just like the news of a hiatus, the media will talk about the news of a comeback. So promotions or not, there will be articles, there will be reviews, and there will be numbers. I mean, there already the are, and the comeback, the comeback hasn't happened. had such a big impact, imagine what BTS's comeback can achieve. Chief. BTS already has number one songs in English and Korean. BTS already received multiple Grammy nominations while promoting and during hiatus. Listen, they're in gonna, they gotta win one 
at some point, right? <laughs> I know they try to act sometimes like, oh, you know what? It's it's fine. We've already done enough. But come on, we want them to get a Grammy. You know, they probably secretly inside think, yeah, I kind of want a Grammy. Well, Grammy nominations while and they deserve it. And during hiatus. In other words, Sucker gave the Jonas Brothers all the numbers, visibility, and success a comeback era can offer. But BTS already went through their Sucker era in terms of success back in 2020. So the benefits of a comeback era will be bigger for BTS than for the Jonas Brothers. This is what I mean by the inescapable success of BTS's comeback. Going mainstream or being taken seriously? At the end of the day, promotions or not, Why not whether both? the project is in Korean or English, the big question is still, what exactly are they going to release? What style of music will they You never know with next? BTS. I remember that the conversations when BTS were first leaving for the military were focused on a shift on their music. This shift was expected to be more mature and maybe have less or no dancing at all. Then Bang ah. Lee said that the BTS members were- Yo, that comeback gonna have- a whole bunch of dancing, huh? They're gonna whip out some cool choreographies. And maybe have less or no dancing at all. Then Bang PD said that the BTS members were planning to release a special project for the 10th year anniversary of the most beautiful moment in life. Whether they sign again with Hive or whether they sign with other label. We said to each other, you know, let's make sure we put out a 10 year anniversary album and a project. If they hadn't signed with us, they still would have released it, just not with us. Oh, that's how else. important this is it the is first to time them. That I am uh, mentioning in public that there is going to be a 10 year anniversary in a project. Bang PD oh. also mentioned that BTS wanted so their absence as a group in the music industry to be a turning point in their careers. Yeah, you know, one thing I was thinking is. If they, if they want to do this for like more time, they can't really keep up the pace of their like early years. Cause man, I mean, I've already seen all their like movies, documentaries and stuff. Life was crazy. Like I kind of feel bad for the members. You could tell that in the future when they come back, they're probably going to be a bit more chill. You know, they got to take care of their bodies. Industry to be a turning point in their careers. The whole famous chapter 2 that had us all worried. <laughs> Until recently, the BTS members were still mentioning that this project is a priority for them. Bro, that's gonna be so beautiful. These are strong signs that the predictions of a lot of armies at the beginning of the hiatus were true. A project like the most beautiful moment in life may be more serious in terms of production and songwriting. It may have mostly R&B and alternative songs, and it may also be in Korean only. We don't know. However, during the hiatus slash solo era, a lot of things have changed. More than change, I think they have progressed. To start, many of the BTS members who fans may think were not comfortable singing in English chose to release solo songs and albums in English. And I truly love Dynamite and Butter, <laughs> but the recent English projects are much more stronger. Yeah, they words, feel more personal. Artistically, well, the, whole, the whole solo album projects were personal because you know, it was each member's album. Projects are much more stronger. In other words, growing artistically does not necessarily mean going alternative and non-mainstream and serious, which is what I saw a lot of armies predict at the very beginning of the hiatus. The same applies to the choreography aspect. There were some armies making comments about BTS not dancing anymore because they cannot do choreographies forever, and maybe they are tired of it. But during what? the hiatus slash solo era, we saw all the members dance. In Bro. Oh, wait, people actually thought BTS were done with the dancing? Ha That's like... Yes, not dancing anymore Part of charm. because they cannot do choreographies <laughs> forever and maybe they are tired of it but during the hiatus slash solo era we saw all yeah, the, the da dancing dance, did not stop members who have this stereotype that they are not as comfortable dancing oh, Suga had Yumi. a choreography for his lead single Jin danced on stage one day 
Yeah, he even did a whole bunch of like TikToks with people. Including <laughs> members who have this stereotype that they are not as comfortable dancing. Suga had a choreography for his lead single. The Hegum Jin danced choreography on stage was a one shock. day after his military discharge. RM danced for a collaboration. He also kind of danced around for one of his music videos. And most importantly, he continued practicing dance. Uh -huh. So did V. He's still dancing while in the military. My point is that just because Bang PZ said that the BTS members wanted this hiatus to create a shift in their careers and maybe be taken more seriously, it doesn't mean that they will fully stop all the aspects that makes them a fun mainstream group. They can still do music in English with choreographies and be taken a lot more seriously. And they can also release a calmer album like The Most Beautiful Moment in Life and go mainstream with it. And During they will. this hiatus and thanks to TikTok, songs in Korean, Japanese and many other non-English languages have gone mainstream. So the oh. language period... Yo, I started seeing TikToks recently using this like slowed down version of Blood, Sweat and Tears. Sounds really good. ...is not as big of an obstacle anymore, at least not for the general public. Being taken seriously with a non-English project is another barrier that BTS has already started to break. And I think a comeback label can finish the job. At this point, yeah. the success and cultural impact of any type of comeback project from BTS is inescapable. They, they gained that ground with this comeback. Every hint BTS has given about their upcoming comeback includes some sort of promotion. Starting with the fact that some members Aww. are going to the military three or four years earlier than they should. I don't think this big of a sacrifice that no one in the industry has done before will come with mediocre promotions. Wait, really? No other group has gone like odd together? There's no way. There's been so many groups. Surely there's been one other that did the same thing, right? ...that no one in the industry has done before will come with mediocre promotions. However, on the other side of the argument, BTS has mentioned again and again that the first thing they want to do is a 10th year anniversary project for the most beautiful moment in life. Who knows, maybe we'll get both a mainstream English project and a fandom-focused Korean project. Two At projects? this point, we may even get a new type of mainstream Korean project. Whatever it is, everything suggests that it will be too big to even process right now. The word really? comeback <laughs> will be attached to the project, and that is enough oh, for wait. it to be a headline and consider... Yeah, yeah, the whole the excitement for it being a comeback. ...for awards. Just look at everything they've achieved with non-mainstream projects, with no promotions and during hiatus. Of course, there are certain achievements that I can hope for, but I'm not sure they will happen because certain parts of the industry are unpredictable. I'm not even going to talk about my hopes or what I wish could happen. I just want to come back. <laughs> and at this point, the inescapable is cultural impact. People will know about the existence of this comeback just because it's a comeback from a recognizable name. We don't even know what the project is going to sound like. But I know for sure that it will achieve many of the dreams Chapter Aww. 1, BTS and ARMY did not even think could come true. Yo, Bora said he got us hyped. So, Bora said he is predicting that this comeback it's going to be massive. I mean, I already expected it to be massive, but I just don't know how massive it actually will be. But, you know, the video had a point. People are going to be excited because this is like their first real actual comeback. Not just them releasing another album a couple months later and changing their hair colors. Nah, this time it's it's for real. You know, they left for quite a while. I mean, they, they are releasing new things. Obviously, they did that for us so that we don't have to go a long time with nothing. But still, this comeback, it's its a real comeback. And the fact that the members are still doing huge numbers without even being here proves that when they get back together, we don't know what's going to happen. And even though it seems pretty obvious that we're getting an anniversary to the most beautiful moment in life, we don't know what it's going to be like, what they're going to do. But one thing's for sure, you, you can never really predict anything with BTS. The fans that have been following them for many years, you could probably talk with them and they would have never expected like nothing of everything that BTS did. Their popularity, all these genres that they're doing, their songs, these solo projects, their songs in English being this, this massive and popular. The surprises never end with BTS. That's why it's so fun 
to keep up and be a fan. But yeah, less than a year. So that's not too long. And we're still here waiting. <laughs> Anyways, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.